Now I'd like to introduce Michelle Sutter, co-founder of the grassroots group Money Out Voters In, who began this tireless effort to get a ballot proposition to overturn Citizens United several years ago in a Starbucks, showing that change can happen from dedicated folks working from the ground up. Michelle? <laughs> Thank you so oh, thank you so much, Sylvia. Are we okay? Great. Um, yes, uh, I'm Michelle Sutter. I'm delighted to be here. Um, I want to express my heartfelt thanks and appreciation, first of all, to Senator Ben Allen, who has been such a tremendous champion for us and this issue, and then to all of our coalition partners uh, who supported Money Out Voters In um, when we were uh, but a speck. Um, and took us seriously, and here we are today. Um, yes, now everyone knows that this started in a Starbucks. Um, I wrote to a friend of mine uh, who's uh, a staffer at the legislature that uh, he should watch out for the bill uh, banning political meetings in coffee shops, uh, and, and we can expect to see that soon. But uh, on a more serious note, um, Proposition 59, it's a voter instruction that asks Californians if they shall instruct their representatives to use all of their constitutional authority to overturn Citizens United and other judicial precedents so that we can fully limit or regulate money in our elections and to make clear that corporations should not have the same constitutional rights as human beings. Um, the voter instruction is something enshrined in the California Constitution. Article 1, Section 3A gives us the right to instruct our representatives. We do not use this often. Uh, we last used it in 1892, and the issue was the direct election of senators. And there is a very uh, straight line from that issue to this issue. That was about the overwhelming corruption of the process, where senators were appointed by the rich and powerful, and the people have no say. We believe that is just about true today, and that it is our responsibility as Californians to use our unique voice, and you know that California does have the capacity to drive and alter conversations in the United States of America. And with your help and support, California will send the resounding call that this must change. We need a constitutional amendment. And as Senator Ted Lieu said, uh, uh, Congressman Ted Lieu said, um, the Congress does not simply wake up one morning and say we need an amendment. What happens is the people speak. They speak, they speak again, they call, they are relentless, they are determined, they are loud, and ultimately, they are successful. Thank you very much. Thank you, Michelle.